communication. How does it work? How can we model it? Can we use machines to enhance it? HCSnet brings together researchers from over 20 academic disciplines to explore how communication works. Engineers, psychologists and linguists join forces researching communication in advanced technology systems. English is the language of aviation and the air traffic controller is giving him a range of commands, some of which are very clear and standard and some of which are ambiguous. And we're looking at the pilot's responses. HCSnet isn't just about human communication, it's also about communication between people and machines. And it's looking to a future when we can interact with computers in all sorts of places in our environment and notably in this case on a table. It's also called surface computing. We work with sociologists, with people in the medical sphere to see how we can put this into people's practice. Human communication science helps us build intelligent machines. I am an embodied conversational agent. Making virtual heads, talking heads, making them seem more natural and realistic. Students and faculty come together to discuss breakthroughs that will impact our working lives. It's all about moving from keyword search, which we have now, into something that's richer. HCSnet also encompasses sonics, communication through sound and music. We're now very interested in how the player interacts with the instrument. You'll see a saxophone that looks sort of normal, but inside the mouthpiece there's a tube that leads from the player's vocal tract out to our source of sound. We research communication difficulties, such as specific language impairment, or SLI. The difficulty that some children have in, in acquiring language and we'd like to study this in very young children. So if we get a picture of what the brain normally does in children who are normally developing when they listen to these kinds of sentences, we can then do just the same thing with SLI children and get a much clearer picture of the brain differences between the SLI children and the normal children. We can only understand human communication if we bring all these viewpoints together. And that's what HCSnet does. Be part of it at HCSnet Summerfest in Sydney this December. If you're interested in human communication, come along to Summerfest. Yes, then it's just a wonderful opportunity to actually present to a wide variety and a diverse audience. It's a wonderful place to meet uh, your peers. It's quite an informal atmosphere often, particularly at Summerfest. The sweet paper sessions where we talk about our project and what we hope to do within the space of uh, four minutes. Summerfest includes workshops, speed papers and summer school courses on reading development and dyslexia, data mining with Weka, an introduction to dialogue systems and musical performance. Summerfest is free for undergraduates. To join HCSnet and find out about Summerfest, visit the website. HCSnet is a great, I guess you might call it, excuse to interact with people outside of your own discipline. See you at HCSnet Summerfest.